there, my name is Jen Kitzmiller. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Missoula. And we just wanted to take a little time to talk to you all about a potential winter storm um, for both mountains and even down into the valleys as we head into the next week. So just as an overview, we do have pretty high confidence of an overall big pattern change occurring, which is going to take us to colder and wetter and potentially snowy conditions as we head into uh, mid next week. Now under this kind of pattern change we are expecting heavy snow in the mountains and over mountain passes and there's a very real concern that even down to some of the lower valleys we could see snow um, especially in the Thursday into Friday time frame and particularly across northwest Montana. And so the scenario plays out that we have a Canadian cold front that will be heading um, from north to south and crossing the Continental Divide beginning Wednesday night. And where that boundary sets up is going to be really critical in determining which areas receive snow and particularly um, accumulating snow and which areas stay rain or just a rain-snow mix and, and it has little impact to roadways and such. Um, so currently most of our forecast models are showing that this boundary is going to set up um, somewhere north of Missoula um, and uh, affect generally areas in the Mission Valley and northward. Um, so that's the area that we've been kind of focusing in on and that we're really paying close attention because we think that's where the higher likelihood of valley snow occurring will be. However, there have been model runs that have been bringing this boundary further south. And if that was to occur, there would be potential to see valley snow as far south as Missoula, northern Bitterroot Valley even. Um, so that potential is there, um, and we just want to make everyone aware of that potential. However, as I mentioned, our, our confidence is leaning a little bit more towards northwest Montana. So we look back to past storms that had similar features and characteristics to this, this storm we're forecasting later this week and kind of put together a, a summary um, of what kind of snow amounts fell out of these storms in the past. And so this is just a really rough look. Um, I wouldn't get too keyed in on individual points, um, but again, you'll see that focus of, of precipitation and particularly snow across northwest Montana um, with the greatest amounts out of similar storms generally being focused north and east of Kalispell. So Columbia Falls, West Glacier, Hungry Horse, um, Marias Pass, those areas have a potential to see some, some potentially significant snowfall. Now again, this is not a forecast. This is just based on um, previous storms that looked very similar to this one. Um, as we move forward and we start seeing exactly where this boundary is going to set up, we'll, we'll start producing our own forecast of snowfall amounts. But I just wanted to show you the potential of what could be possible um, with the system. Now these amounts probably do reflect more lower elevation to valleys and maybe mid elevations. Higher elevations and the, the high mountain terrain, mountain passes, especially such as Marias Pass and Lookout Pass, those areas could see a, a foot or possibly even more of snow um, out of this system. So just something to keep in mind. So this is a look at temperatures. I mentioned it was a pretty significant cool down. This is the uh, temperature forecast for Friday and you'll see especially across northwest Montana where that boundary sets up we've got highs only in the low 30s and low temperatures in the 20s and even teens. Um, as you look further south and west you'll notice that it's quite a bit warmer so we really have a, a pretty strong gradient in temperatures across the area. Um, for those of you in Idaho um, because that warm air stays more locked in place most valleys will just be seeing rainfall in this, this time frame, um, though mountains and mountain passes will still be receiving snow. So when will this end? This is uh, the outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, the looking out through 10-day time frame. And you'll see that there's pretty high confidence in continued below normal temperatures and above normal precipitation. So it looks like going through much of next week and possibly into the following week, um, we will be under these cooler than normal and wet conditions, which means we will continue to have the potential to see, to see snow. Um, 
definitely in the mountains and maybe down into the valleys at times. So um, it looks like this pattern is going to be with us for a bit. And um, I think that's really all we have to pass along at this point. We'll continue to stay up to date and uh, give you guys uh, our increased confidence and details um, as they play out and as, as our forecast models evolve. So thanks for listening and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.